Prophet Muhammad, the man most closely associated with the religion of Islam, a man of strength, virtue, character, faith, and loyalty. Prophet Muhammad's impact can still be felt today and will continue to be felt generations from now. This name now represents over a billion people in this world and binds those billion people to their faith, their beliefs, and most importantly, their God. Muhammad was more than just a normal Arab man. He was a spiritual link between the divine and the human. But what was it that made Muhammad so special? What qualities did he have that made him so appealing to his people, to his family, and most importantly, to his God? The answer is simple. The Prophet was always true to himself and those around him. He never held any grudge or anger towards anyone in his entire life. And th this is the quality that I admire about him the most. It is a well-known fact that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a respected place in society both before and after his prophethood. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was a family man. He always maintained a good relationship with his relatives throughout his life. One of the finest examples of the Prophet's caring for his relatives was when he took Ali under his wing. Hazrat Ali was the son of his uncle Abu Talib. His uncle had many children and could not support all of his children. Therefore, Muhammad decided to relieve some of his uncle's burden and took Ali under his wing. This act is significant because it inspired another fellow Muslim brother of the Prophet to take care of another one of Abu Talib's sons. Abu Talib returned the favor as well. He he protect he made sure to protect Muhammad during his initial state during the initial stages of his prophethood, when Muhammad was st struggling to spread the message of Islam. Not only did the Prophet maintain his own relationships, but he also made sure to tell every Muslim to not break the relationships with their family. Our Prophet has explicitly told us not to burn bridges, to forgive people, and to take care for people even if you are not on talking terms with them. There is a very famous quote that says, Treating your kin with the same kindness as they treat you does not count as looking out for them. The person who truly protects and looks out for his kin is the one who keeps benefiting them even when they break their relations with him. Muhammad, peace be upon him, without a doubt, cared for his family and distant family. He was a loving man who not only showed Muslims at the time how to treat their own family members, but also the billion plus Muslims today as well. Along with treating his cousins and uncles well, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, treated children with love too. Aside from taking care of their material needs, the Prophet took care of their spiritual needs as well. He would go to his daughter and son-in-law's house every morning to wake them up for prayer. The interesting part, of, part about this is that he looked out for his daughter even after she was married, which is very rare at the time considering uh, where they were in Saudi Arabia. One of his favorite things to do was spend time with his two grandchildren, Hassan and Hussein. Think about it. A man who had to lead a religion, fight religious wars, and give his entire community advice still took time out of his day to spend some time with his grandchildren. The Prophet appreciated children so much that he strictly proclaimed that no woman or child should be hurt during warfare. This was a bold gesture considering the amount of religious tension in the Arabian Peninsula at the time. The Prophet, peace be upon him, truly cared for the young in the community, and he taught Muslims all around the world how to teach, treat, raise, and love their children. Every single one of the Prophet's actions was meant to be as an example for all Muslims, at the time and even today. If there's one quality of the Prophet that I always try to emulate, it's his kindness and genuine care and concern for people. I'm an active volunteer in my community and plan on being one for the rest of my life. I have done many different types of volunteering, but my favorite has to be tutoring young children. Seeing excitement on children's faces when they learn something new or crack a problem that they've been trying to solve for a while makes me feel complete and gives me happiness. Giving is something that the Prophet did in abundance. So whether it be time, money, or effort, I try to give as much as I can to, to my community and I encourage you to do so as well. I also deeply care about my family and friends. My family is my rock and I never make a decision without them. They're in the back of my mind 24-7 and I treat my mother, father, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins with the utmost respect, just like the Prophet would do to his. My friends are also a huge part of my life. A lot of my friends... A lot of my friends are not Muslim, but does that, that does not affect the amount of respect and care I give them, just like the Prophet taught us. In fact, there is a story of the Prophet saying, whenever there is a funeral procession going on in front of you, stand up and pay your respect until the procession has passed. A funeral procession was occurring and the Prophet stood up. Somebody told the Prophet that it was the, the funeral and the pr procession of a Jew. The Prophet replied, but he was a living being soul as well. The Prophet the Prophet also used to visit the sick, some who were non-Muslim. There is even evidence of the Prophet granting protection of Christians when St. Catherine's Monastery had sent the Prophet a delegation. The last words of this charter state, 
No one of the Muslims is to deny this covenant until the last day, which guarantees the eternal protection and friendship between Muslims and Christians. These acts show that the Prophet viewed everybody as a human being, nothing more, nothing less. If you ask people about me, they will tell you that, they, that I am a kind, caring, and loving, respectful young man. Yes, I have learned my manners from my parents, but above all, I have learned how to treat people through my religion, through my God, and through my Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.